The last decade has been dominated by accurate bolt-action rifles at entry-level prices thanks to modern manufacturing and some innovative thinking by companies such as Ruger, Mossberg, Savage, and even Hawa. But this one just might be the game changer. In this video, we're talking about the just announced CZ600 and what you need to know. What's up everybody, welcome Squad Squad and welcome to Slav Guns and I'm back in my cave because it's freaking cold outside. November and December are quite exciting months as companies start announcing their brand new guns that'll be shown off to the public during January's NSSF SHOT Show in Las Vegas. And one that I'm most excited about so far is CZ and their just launched CZ600 bolt action rifles. Now, while I do not have a demo gun with me, because of just how big of an impact this rifle may be, and because one of my friends does have some personal experience with one, I wanted to make this video and discuss it with you. If you've never heard of CZ, I'm not surprised as most people haven't. CZ comes from the Czech Republic, or what is now called Czechia, and has been a gun maker behind the Iron Curtain during the days of the Soviet Union. They're most well known for the iconic CZ-75 pistols, which have been copied worldwide and probably the second most iconic semi-automatic pistol behind the 1911. And yes, probably even more than the Browning High Power. And today, these are one of the staples in USPSA and IPSC practical shooting disciplines. And with the growth of extended rimfire shooting in disciplines such as NRL 22, PRS rimfire, the CZ-457 became one of the go-to recommendations in that space. Outside of those competitive shooting markets, however, the US gun buyer at large has for the most part largely ignored CZ or has never really heard about them. And for this reason, that's why I consider CZ a cult brand. In Europe, however, CZ is much more well known by European hunters for producing good quality centerfire rifles based on the tried and true Mauser and Winchester 70 claw style extractor and controlled round feed. The problem for CZ, that with the exception of select safari hunters and Winchester Model 70 fans, improvements in push feed designs combined with lower combined production costs for US manufacturers have made CZ centerfire rifles pretty much more rare than unicorns in the United States. To change that, CZ has decided to clear the table and just start from scratch and they replaced their CZ-527 mini actions, the iconic CZ-550 actions, and the most recent CZ-557 push feed actions with this, the new CZ-600 action. And the CZ-600 has numerous innovations that for this price point just might make CZ a household name. Now, the central theme with CZ-600 is modularity. The action is brand new and uses a six lug bolt laid out in two rows of three. This gives the rifle a quick 60 degree bolt throw and the 600 will also be available as a mini action which will be just a three lug bolt, basically just one row less. What's nice is that the bolts are meant to be user replaceable for quick caliber changes and in order to make that possible, CZ tossed the standard playbook and brought a quick removed and replaced design similar to what you find in the AR-15 and Desert Tech rifles to a production bolt action rifle under a thousand bucks. The barrels slide into the receiver and are held in place by three torque screws which are then torqued down in a particular order. The actions are also made in both aluminum and steel depending on the model of the gun that you go with. What's nice and I'm really looking forward to experiencing is the new controlled round feed design. With the 600, CZ has been able to maintain the advantages of a controlled round feed, however without the big massive claw extractor that you find on Winchesters and Mausers, and for that matter, older CZ actions. Now, other new features on the CZ600 include a user adjustable trigger that has four presets, ranging from one and a half to three pounds, and it does not require you to take the action out of the stock as you find with other similar triggers from US manufacturers. There's also a new tang mounted two position safety that you push down to fire or push up from the bottom to make safe. On safe, the gun is safe and the bolt is locked. However, you can open the bolt by using the bolt release. 
What I believe is another first at this price point is that all of the models come with the detachable box magazine. Now, what makes it cool, however, is that there is a lever that locks the magazine in place, preventing inadvertent magazine releases. This gives you both worlds, the security of an internal box magazine and the benefits of a detachable magazine. The magazines seem to be proprietary or not, and are not your standard AICS or AR pattern magazines. For the US market, CZ plans on four different models, sorry, four different models, <laughs> ranging in price from uh, $749 to $1199, and keep in mind those are MSRPs. The base model and the one that I think will be the most popular is the CZ600 Alpha, and the Alpha uses a lightweight aluminum receiver with integrated Picatinny scope bases. The Alpha models come with 24-inch semi-heavy contour cold hammer forged barrels and are set in a new polymer stock. Now what's nice is that the barrels are fretted from the factory and are ready for a suppressor or muzzle device of your choice. Some of the US entry level models, they don't come with a fretted barrel and that kind of sucks. The stocks also look quite nice and I was instantly reminded of the carbon fiber stocks by a luxury rifle maker from Russia called Bespoke Guns. The guns weigh between 6.5 and, and 8 pounds depending on the action and caliber choice. And consistent with what we find today, CZ guarantees that the 600 Alpha to be sub-MOA rifle with a sub-MOA 3-shot group with factory match ammo. For $50 more, you have the Lux model, which is catered towards your safari hunters, and these guns use a heavier steel receiver instead of the aluminum one on the Alpha and others, and come with a 20-inch cold hammer forge barrel. These actions are set in the beautiful looking walnut stock, which I'm kind of a fan of, except in practice. <laughs> now these models do not come with a scope base, however the guns come with a rear adjustable sight and a fiber optic front. Fortunately, CZ ditched the proprietary basis and the receiver is tapped for a Remington 700 style scope base instead, now if only more manufacturers took that same hint. These guns weigh a few ounces more due to the receiver and they weigh be the weight range uh, from about 6.8 to 8.2 pounds depending on the caliber choice and they come with an MSRP of just $849. Now just as we have with the Alpha, the Lux is also a sub MOA guaranteed gun with a 3 shot sub MOA group with factory match ammo. Now, if you're a gun owner that's more likely to hunt paper than you are to hunt rhinos, CZ also has the CZ600 range model. The range models come with a 24 inch heavy contoured cold hammer forged barrels and were also fretted for a suppressor or muzzle device of your choice. The actions on the range are steel and they do not come with a scope base and are ready for your Remington 700 pattern base of your choice. The barreled actions are dropped in a laminate wood stock, which is made for target shooting. The stock features an upright grip, an adjustable comb height, there are a number of QD points for a quick detach sling, and a number of traditional swivel studs for a regular sling or a bipod. On the back, there's also a Picatinny rail section for a monopod or a bag rider of your choice. Now these guns, they are gonna weigh at 10 pounds and they have an MSRP of $11.99. With these target focused features, CZ guarantees these guns to be sub three quarter MOA, five shot group shooters with factory match ammo. The most interesting model by far is the CZ 600 Trail. If the Sig Ross is too trendy, the Q Fix is too expensive, and the CZ Bren shoots a little too fast, then the CZ600 Trail just might be the cult offering for you. The Trail is CZ's offering into the PD PDW style bolt action rifle, which is perfect for when you need to go tactical Timmy on a deer. With these models, you have the short CZ600 action, sitting in a polymer chassis with a full-size M-Lock handguard with a full-length Picatinny rail, and these chassis use an AR-15 style pistol grip and a new collapsible PDW style stock. The trail uses a 16-inch semi-heavy cold hammer forged barrel 
and they feed from either AR-15 style or CZ Bren 2 style magazines. These guns weigh 6.1 pounds and have an MSRP of $1,155. For other world markets, CZ also offers the CZ600 Ergo, which is the CZ600 Alpha in a Fumhold style polymer stock. Are you excited about the 600? I know I am. Despite that excitement, I'm actually a bit dumbfounded about how a company can be so innovative when it comes to features, yet be so out of touch with trends of the world's largest gun market, the United States. What I'm talking about is the caliber choices. On one hand, the 600 Alpha comes in your much expected standard calibers, both long and short, such as 6.5 Creedmoor, 308 Winchester, and 300 Win Mag. The mini actions come chambered in 7.62x39 and 2.23 Remington. They even chambered in the most recent calibers to establish themselves, such as 6mm Creedmoor and my favorite Hornady 6.5 PRC. What is missing, however, are newer calibers which would be perfect for these actions, such as 6mm Arc, 300 PRC, and 350 Legend, which is really blowing up. Also missing are some of the hunting staples of 243 Winchester and 7mm 08. What I'm purely dumbfounded about is that CZ's launching the 600 Alpha in 224 Valkyrie, yet is not launching it in 65 Grendel. So yes, while many companies are dropping the pretty much now dead 224 Valk, CZ is using resources to chamber a gun in this caliber, while leaving out one that is multiple times more popular, 6.5 Grendel. I do wish that that was the end of the gripe, however what you find with CZ is that while you move up in models, you actually have less chambering choices. The hunting focused Lux, for example, only comes chambered in 308 Winchester, 300 Win Mag, 30 odd 6, and 223 Remington. Completely missing are 6mm Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 6.5 PRC, which are all accurate kick ass hunting cartridges. Now, what about paper hunters? Well, the CZ600 range is only chambered in the barrel burning 6 Creedmoor and 308 Winchester. If you want an awesome, accurate, and long-lasting 6.5 Creedmoor, no go for you, at least at launch. As per industry data, 6.5 Creedmoor accounts for more rifles sold than all the other rifle calibers put together, at least for one manufacturer that I know. Not chambering a target or hunting variant of your firearm in the most popular caliber today is at best stupid and at worst a horrendous business decision for which heads should roll. At least CZ got the trail model, right? Right? At launch, the CZ trail is only chambered in 223 Remington and 7.62x39, and while the 223 variant feeds from standard AR-15 mags, the 7.62x39 feeds from CZ's own Bren 2 mags and not the currently widely available 7.62x39 AR style magazines. Fortunately, all of those things can easily be corrected by getting some new barrel reamers and some people in charge. What I am most concerned about, however, is the aftermarket and whether it'll develop for the CZ 600s, particularly when it comes to barrels. For standard Remington, Savage, Ruger, Hauer, or countless number of custom actions, you can get any competent gunsmith to spin you up a barrel. Or, you can purchase a prefit barrel over the internet and have somebody put it in for you. Because of the quick change barrel design, CZ designed the bolt to lock onto reciprocal locking lugs inside the barrel rather than the receiver. While a regular barrel can be spun up and finished on a lathe, you need much more complex machinery to do so with CZ's barrel design. This means, at least for the time being, your only option for aftermarket barrels or caliber conversions will be to purchase barrels from CZ. Overall, I'm super excited about the CZ600 and I'm absolutely looking forward to getting my hands on one, either a Chacho or Nudge Nudge Wink Wink, someone at CZ wants to send me one in 6.5 PRC, I'll be really happy for that. The rifle is absolutely priced right and the Alpha looks to be a solid competitor to the Ruger American, the Savage 110, and various Howe 1500 models. The only thing that's going to be left to see will be how CZ implements the launch so we can find out whether CZ will remain a cold favorite or bust out and become a US household name. So what do you think? 
Are you running out to put a deposit down on one or are you going to wait for CZ to chamber it in the proper caliber? And is the quick change barrel system worth a more limited aftermarket? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you watching, keep on squatting, and I'll see you in the next video linked up here.